Hey, what's up guys? Matt here with Fix Anything Save Money. Today we're gonna to be showing you how to replace the three-way touch sensor on this dimmable light. So you could see usually when you touch this, it's supposed to dim down, but it recently broke. So we're gonna be replacing this sensor. We're gonna be showing you guys how to do that. So the things we're gonna need for this are obviously the three-way touch sensor. I think it's actually called a three-way dimmable touch sensor, but I'll put a link in the description on where you could pick up one of these. Um, and then we're gonna need a pair of wire strippers. For this uh, particular lamp, we're gonna need a 14 millimeter wrench. And then, you know, it's always good to have a pair of pliers, either regular pliers or a set of needle nose. So, you know, you can see it doesn't dim. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is uh, cut off power to the light. So we'll go ahead and unplug the light. Okay. And the next thing we're gonna do is just tip the light over to expose the base here. And then on this one, you can see there's a little piece of felt. And then you can see this little gap right here. You can either put a screwdriver in there or get it with your finger and just kind of pull this out. This is just like a flexible piece of plastic. Okay. And then you can see here, we have all the wires. And this is the part that we're after right here. Let's see if I could get some light in there. So that's the part that we're after right there. So what you could do is just kind of pull this out. You can see this is kind of, it's got some adhesive on it to stick to the base. So you just wanna pull this out and kind of get access to it. Take a look at what you have. So you can see we have a yellow and green wire, which is our ground. It goes to our base. And this nut right here, that's our 14 millimeter nut that we're gonna be using this wrench to remove. Now you could just cut this wire and splice it together like we're gonna be doing on the rest of them. But I have the wrench here, so we're just gonna remove this nut and fit it over with this green wire onto the base. And then for these, what I recommend doing is just cutting these as high up on the module as you can, just to give yourself some extra room. So we'll go ahead and take our wire cutters and I'll put links on where you could buy all this, on where you could buy all this stuff if you don't already have it. So we're just gonna open them up and you can see here, there's our wire cutter right there. And we're just gonna go through and cut each wire. So we'll cut the yellow first, then we'll cut the red. Okay. Then we'll cut this black. And then we'll cut the white. Okay, so now we have our wires cut. All we have to do now is strip these wires. So I like to take, you know, maybe about a half an inch, three quarters of an inch off of each wire. And actually while we're at it, we could just remove this nut. So I did already loosen this a little bit just to kind of speed it up for the video. And actually what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do since we're gonna have to, we would have to cut these other wires and splice them. We're just going to tighten this back up I didn't think of that. So we're just gonna tighten this back up. And we're gonna splice the ground together so that we don't have to cut any other wires. So you can see here we have our old module. Then we have our wires that we need to strip. So 
we could go ahead and since we're not going to be using this brass piece on the base, we could go ahead and cut that and strip this one first. And you can see the ones that come, this is our new module, they come pre-stripped, which is nice. And if you're ever wondering what gauge to use when you're stripping, on this one in particular, it's going to be a 20 gauge. So we would be using this bottom notch to strip. So you pretty much just, if you've never stripped a wire before, it's pretty simple. You would just put it into the 20 gauge slot like that. And then just press, give it a little rotate and then just pull straight out. And you can see it strips, strips the wire nicely. So now we'll go ahead and we'll do that with these. Here's our other ground. Okay, there's our ground. And then we'll do the same with our red wire. Then we'll do the same with our white wire. And then you could just twist these ends together. Makes it easier when you go to wire nut everything together. Okay. And then the last one we have is our black and do the same thing on that we'll strip that twist it okay and now we are ready to take our new piece kind of fit it into place And then we could go ahead and start tightening up all of our stuff. So this green is going to go with this yellow and green piece. You can see that little green stripe. So that's our ground. So we could go ahead and twist that together. And all you're doing is twisting these wires together tight and then taking the included wire nuts, putting one in. And just twisting and you just want to make sure that you don't see any exposed wire in there then we'll do the same with our white grab another wire nut Okay, then we can go ahead and do our red. Okay, there's our red. And then we'll go ahead and do our black. Okay, so now we have all of our wires together. I can just go ahead and tuck everything into place. Just kind of tuck all these wires in here so that we could close our base up. And then we'll turn the light on and we'll see if we fix the issue. So you really want these tucked in there well so that your base doesn't, you know, when you go to put this little plastic cover on, it's not sitting 
up on any of these wires. Okay, so we'll go ahead and put our cover back on. And that just kind of fits in there like so. Just kind of presses in there. And then we can put our felt piece back on. Okay. Now we can stand our lamp up and we'll turn it on and we'll see what we have. Okay, so let's see. So you can see that's the first setting, second, third, off, dim, brighter, brightest, and then off. So you can see that was the issue. This sensor or this um this three-way touch switch just went on it. So like I said, I'll put a link in the description on where you could pick up a new one of these. Also where you could pick up these tools so you could kind of just, you know, follow the video along, use the tools that I suggest. And uh, yeah, should make the repair pretty easy for you guys. But yeah, be sure to reach out if you have any questions at all. Um, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Otherwise, be sure to like this video if it helped you out. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Check out all my other tool and DIY videos. Yeah, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.